everyone. So we're going to move on to another function that a lot of customers ask us to go over uh, on the video. And as always, we're going to start here at the print menu, which is where we usually are. We're looking at our job history or we're looking at current jobs that we're about to send through. Um, to perform what we're about to do next, well, we need to make sure that all your lights are green, right? And by that, I mean your communication, that you have no errors pending here. Uh, for any communication errors or anything like that. Uh, one of the things that customers ask us is about this particular button right here. This is a display that talks about the, the temperature of the heads. So as long as your machine is reading in green, your, temp your head's temperature, uh, that means that it's reading, that there's communication. Sometimes that button here, or this particular light could be blinking, um, in red, well, that's an issue. That means that the head has been disconnected for some reason. So we would have to send out a tech to take a look at that and see um, what could possibly have, have caused the head to lose communication with the board. Um, but if you're, if you're in green or even in yellow or orange color, I guess, um, you're, still in, you're still good. Um, the, the main difference between being completely green here and possibly being orange here as long as your heads are in green right here, then you're good. The reason why sometimes this button uh, appears in orange has to do with the um, the alert setting that the machine in the factory settings has. So it alerts you that your temperature is close to it being um, a possible issue. But this is um, this is a normal thing that has to do with how the the settings from the factory are set into your machine. So I wouldn't necessarily worry about that just because the the light pops up in orange because you are getting communication and you can see that by looking at here. So always take a look at that and let me know and contact our tech department and see if we can help you with any issues that you may have or questions that you may have about that. So we're going to go back to print. OK, and. Uh, our, 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 our purpose of this particular uh, video today has, has to do with more, more so with adjustments. So we're going we're gonna to click on adjust and in adjust, we have a few things that we could do. And, and one of the things that we unfortunately have to do uh, quite often is to um, register uh, or align the white uh, to your color. Sometimes you'll be getting this sliver of white on the top or the bottom uh, or sometimes side to side right and more so on one side versus the other so we're gonna we're gonna come here in adjust and we're gonna go to headspace and what what the headspace is it's basically uh, a section of your adjustments um, where it controls the the position of each head so as you can see right here if we go to if we go to horizontal and then we could go to vertical we have two sets of you know different settings so vertical in particular has to do with the up and down so if an up and down situation is where the issue is where you look at a print and your white is showing on the top uh, and not on the bottom or is showing in the bottom but not on the top then that means we have to make a movement so i'm going to include here in this video as i'm discussing this a chart that will show you when you have to move the number up or you have to move the number down so moving the number up means bringing the head closer to the machine closer to the printer as you know the machine prints and the film goes out so as as the machine as the film goes out you're basically aligning the white towards the machine in case you have to move it up so first take a look at where you're at where is the where is the position of the white is it above or is it below and that number right here is the number we're going to adjust, the H2. We're never going to mess with H1 because H1 is your color. And you always align your white to your color. So right now, this number that's here could vary in every machine. Every machine would have a different number. Um, absolutely. Um, there is no right number to have. Uh, that's the first thing I want to clear up. So if my movement has to go up, meaning towards the machine on the white, that means that this number has to go in increments that are going up. So if it's at 1893, in my case, I would back up here and I would make it uh, 1894, 95, 96, 97. So I'm increasing the number in order to move that white up. 
and to cover the color. If I'm making a reduction, then that means that the, the white is moving away from the printer, right? So we need to identify where the white is, how much is it off, and then input that information here. Now, what is the correct amount? Um, these are fractions of millimeters, so that means that the, the adjustments are very small. You basically are going to be doing, if I had it on three, I would probably move it to four or possibly five. If it's a gap that's visible, like an eighth of an inch, then I would probably make that 98. So I'm moving up five points in that direction, right? So I'm going to keep it at where I had it at. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to click save. So by clicking save, you're now saving the changes that you made here without making this connection here, you're not really going to update anything in the machine, right? So this is your vertical up and down adjustment. Now in here, as you saw, you also have a horizontal. So we're going to discuss the horizontal movement on another video. But for now, this would be the steps that you would have to do to realign your white in the event that for some reason, your film tension is causing the white to print out of place.